Shaitani Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Bismillahi min shaitani rajeem, Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder from myself and abdukal ajihi so ta'ifu, miskeenu, zalim, jahal. <coughs> but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah Allah's oceans of rahmah and mercy and that the month of Zulhaj is an immense month immense blessings and Allah dressing the believers with the completion of their 12 months of pilgrimage. <clears throat> Every ending has an as important beginning, means the journey is a continuous eternal journey. And alhamdulillah Allah gave us from the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad that all these oceans of reality that exist within Sayyidina Muhammad And from that Allah gave us the greatness of the holy companions of Sayyidina Muhammad And that Allah remind for us that you're never a thing forgotten. That the greatness of this nation is in what Allah has preserved the nation with means that we are not alone. We talked last night about the Sunnah and Nabi and the way and we're talking about that this way of wisdom is so easy and it's not a way of intellect. As a matter of fact that people whom talk to intellectual it's not good adab. Because pride and arrogance enters into intellect. You know them when they talk with words that are so confusing and baffling and to demean people. Maybe they know they don't know the intention but it's not the same as the way of hikmah, right? Intellectuals they use a word because they can begin to filter people. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Loud. Those whom their education may be lowered, they don't understand what words are these. So you filtered them out. You talk a little bit more higher, you filter them out until only the fellow intellectual brainy people understood. But this way of realities teaches the best of adab and hikmah is something completely different. Hikmah is a wisdom and wisdom are from oceans of rahmah and mercy and that Allah gave the nation immense wisdom. We talked before that all the Prophets of Allah were in need of something from Sayyidina Muhammad These are the oceans of hikmah. People may ask that these are not in your Imam's courses that you go for Jummah and <laughs> tells you these things. These are oceans of rahmah, mercy and hikmah. So when we call ourselves Muhammadan way, 
People are confused by that. But in the ocean of wisdom it's so easy. So what is the sunnah? When we say the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad, we say we're Ahlul Sunnah, Daraeet. <laughs> what is Ahlul Sunnah? The sunnah means the way. But more specific, it's not just any way, but means the way of Sayyidina Muhammad So what is then Muhammadan way? It's the English way of telling people we're Ahlul Sunnah. I said, but I thought you were Shia. No, then I would have called it Ali way. It's Muhammadan way because it means Ahlul Sunnah. That we are the people whom exhibit and follow the way of Sayyidina Muhammad from the oceans of light and the realities of the Muhammadan haqqaiq and haqiqatan Muhammadiyyah which are immense and unimaginable. And that everything in this creation, its essence is in Sayyidina Muhammad I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known, Allah La ilaha illallah wants to be known. Through what? The best of his creation, Muhammadun Rasulullah Everything then is in this ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah Every flower that came into existence was for the sake of Prophet Because these were the isharat and the signs of wanting to be known. So when you see something beautiful you say, SubhanAllah why? Because Allah created that for the beauty of Sayyidina Muhammad So that we would understand beauty, we would understand fragrance, we would understand everything that points us in that direction. Marifa, the way of Gnosticism, Marifa is the arifin of the meme whom are arif. Arif is a knower. Ma'rif means this arif knows the meme. Arif knows the meme, that's his life. His arif doesn't know the alif, there's no knowing Allah All that Allah will give to you are Muhammadan haqqaiqs because the haqiqatul ilahiya is for Sayyidina Muhammad What Allah wants to disclose of His immense realities, He discloses to Sayyidina Muhammad And what Allah wants to disclose to us is the reality of Prophet Means in everything in this way of awliya there must be a hikmah and a wisdom related to Prophet External, they follow Islam externally. The way of Marifa, they mastered external but then they went towards the eternal ocean. And they can teach external scholars in an instant that all that they know is nothing. You sit with the external scholar, talks about how he's going to fight shaitan. I say, how are you going to fight shaitan? I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. So, but can you fight an enemy outside your house if he's already inside your house? Hmm. Is there any such battle in any military school that says, you're going to now fight the enemy? You have any chance of success to fight an enemy outside if the enemy already inside? No, because as soon as you start playing outside to attack him, the guy inside is shooting you, right? You put your arrow and start pointing and shooting at devils outside, the devil inside says, oh yeah? And he shoot an arrow into your head because he's already inside you. So means they can silence them immediately. 
It was to learn internal, external knowledges but was to take a direction towards realities. What is the eternal reality? When you mastered how to wash and you mastered all of the, the fiqr and the sharia but now how to apply those realities to your eternal soul? You learn to wash, now you really want to fight the devil, now start going inside because the devil inside more dangerous than the devil outside. Make wudu in your heart, how? Bi dhikrullahi tatma'ina quloob. Many of them don't even make dhikrullah. So people who are listening say, okay when this knowledge is about to come, how is this coming shaykh? I said, from this reality. Allah taught them the external reality, external laws and then took them on a journey into the internal realities. And the internal are eternal, no time. And they govern by the laws of light and the realities of eternity. So means we see that then the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad is an eternal necessity. So we described before Sayyidina Musa salam was given a asa. So when the stories of the Prophets of Islam, why they needed something as a means and a tawassul to reach towards their najat and salvation for themselves and for their communities. Sayyidina Musa salam needed an asa. And that's why Allah direct our intention, Ya Musa what's in your hand? What do you do with it? He said, this is my asa. And we described in previous talks that from the knowledge of awliyaullah, very few awliyaullah that Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is symbolized by that asa. That when Nabi Musa was in need because the only risalat, the only prophecy, the only messenger of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad All the lesser are in need of the greater and that's why Allah described that if He comes وسلم, in your time you are to take your allegiance. They're placeholders in time but they're in need of Sayyidina Muhammad so we described that the holy companions they are in eternal reality of Prophet And when Prophet wants to give you help he sends from his sunnah. Why? Because they symbolize the way of love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad قُلِينِ كُنْتُمْ تُوْهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِيُونِي يُوْهِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ this is Allah's way of love, if they love me, if they want me to love them they must follow you and I will love them. Then these are the examples of the love of Prophet eternal love. So then awliyaullah teach for us that Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is the asa and Nabi Musa salam was in need of that asa to fight devils. When he fought against Pharaoh and the same kingdom of Pharaoh is running this earth, he was in need of the asa in which Allah said, you merely put that asa down becomes a dragon from heaven. Not a fake snake from them but a dragon from heaven in which the magicians of that time saw the magic, saw the miracle of Sayyidina Musa and they accepted their Islam. Because their magic was nothing in comparison to Izzatullah. They had like the fireworks and he was bringing a dragon from heaven down, bringing Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. The same one who fought the devil coming through a hole to bite his holy foot to reach Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq as salam is eternal reality to fight devils. That if my qadam and my feet are on your feet and your feet are on my feet, it's only that foot that will fight devils. 
The devil that coming to attack your qadam, right? He put his foot on that hole in the cave so that the snake wouldn't come to bite Prophet It's an eternal reality that eternally my feet have to dress you, you have to be Siddiq. And we describe Sadiq, you have to be truthful and not lie, not lie but you have to be truthful to your Divinely love, your love for Prophet will be tested and you have to be truthful to it, uphold and keep the good character and the rights of that reality. Means that they don't break their love to Sayyidina Muhammad they don't harm anyone who's Muhammadiyun for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad they're ambassadors of this ishq and this love and good character. Then what Prophet will send to you is an asa. That staff is then the support of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. What more beautific than that? Zuhari people, they, what are you talking about? If I'm right, how beautific is that? And that's why Mawlana Shaykh was a reviver of the Holy Sunnah. All shaykhs they try their best on this earth to be revivers of the sunnah, muhiya sunnah. Because of the immensity of its blessings and power that when you teach people to have a, have a cane, have a asa and once you have a Muhammadan asa means that you're following for the intention of Sayyidina Muhammad then comes with it the support of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq that, I will come to support your path. I will come to uphold your good character, to be truthful in your deeds and in your actions to the best as humanly possible. Others try to judge people but remember we are humans, to the best of our ability the rest they will carry and clean and support. And the role of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq as was then what? If Prophet sees that goodness in you, you have to be bought because shaitan owns you. You thought that you're bought, you're brought into this world free but in reality you found out, no. They gave you a certificate, they put a name and stamped that number on your head. Your birth certificate is a number, your product code. Like when you go to grocery store and you see milk has a number on it, your head has a number on it too. That's why they certified and gave you a certificate because you're in their corporate system of how much they're going to sell to you in life, how much they're going to lock your feet with credit cards and debt because you are merely just a consumer that will buy products. So it means the pharaonic system still exists. We're born into this slavery. People don't escape it because they want to, they understood a video, so oh, now I'm going to escape. Because how Allah showed us in our history, no, they wouldn't release Sayyidina Bilal al-Habashi right? They kept telling him, just like you see today, say Allah, we don't care but leave this Muhammadan stuff alone. And they were telling him, we'll stop crushing you, leave the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and why? Because you'll become Muhammadiyun, Allah, there's one coming now who's going to unify everybody by just saying Allah. But he leaves out Muhammadun Rasulullah So holy companions are rushing to us and say, don't do that. Don't leave out the greatest gift of Allah So means then Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq by order of Prophet was dispatched by him from the hands of Pharaoh, bring him back to us. We all need that attention, why we make salawat, why we make zikr, why we are attending these majlis or in their homes they're making the majlis is for the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad Buy me from shaitan, release me from shaitan. 
send me a means in which to leave that system, be free from the want and needs of these people and their satanic claws, not to be in need of people in which they crush you and grind you until you follow their way. We're in need of Prophet ﷺ's attention, all the Prophets of Allah needed that attention. They asked for something and Allah gave them what? A sunnah. So immense our life was then to receive these sunnahs. And as soon as Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq comes into our life then I'll make you and support you. Support you in this way and in this deen and in your character and continuously remind you. And other nations had to pray and cry and beg but this nation was born into this gift that Mary mean, mere, merely carry the sunnah and ask Ya Rabbi from the reality of the sunnah grant me the support of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. Ya Siddiq al-Mutlaq bi madadakum wa nazarakum that make my path to be strong in this way of realities. Then we described the next sunnah that you need the sunnah to fight these devils. That by merely coming they don't stop and then how Allah sent a power to Sayyidina Sulaiman because Sayyidina Sulaiman came and said that these people are richer than me. How I can help a nation when I'm poorer than them? These people are launching shaitans against me, cursings against me, Ya Rabbi how I'm supposed to support my community when they're attacking like that? And Allah said, we send you a support. And the angels came with a ring. A ring from who? When Prophet describing Haditha Jabbar, I am a Rasul before the creation of Adam. Means the eternal Rasulullah gives to a sunnah and a ring to Sayyidina Sulaiman means granted the support of Imam Ali so the ring is symbolic of the support from Imam Ali Why? Because that was his specialty to fight shayateen, to make all the jinn and afrit to bow down to you. And the shaitans were fearful of this power that was in his ring. It was in Sayyidina Sulaiman's ring not in him. He did something that was not pleasing to Allah they took the ring off and he lost his power and then he had to regain the ring. So that to clarify it's clearly the ring and not the individual. Means why? The support was Sayyidina Muhammad And he gave it, awliyaullah come and said, the ring is Imam Ali When you wear the ring on this finger right here of allegiance, your marriage is to Prophet your loyalty is to Sayyidina Muhammad The command comes only from Sayyidina Muhammad As a result that ring has a power and a madad and support from Imam Ali that I support you, bi-ithnillah with the permission of Allah this is all happening. So means the immensity of the nation what it gives. And when we understood the hand Allah dressed the hand from the holy companions that Sayyidina Uthman Al-Qani represents your pinky which is knowledge. This ring finger is represented by Sayyidina Umar Farooq Salam. Why? To stand for loyalty and to be in the character of Risalat. That to be truthful like the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah The finger that is the highest of all of them was a description of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. Why? Because of what Allah poured into his holy heart. 
The index finger represents Imam Ali and that reality of light and the thumb which is the unique finger of an individual represents Sayyidina Muhammad and that Allah said, we'll bring you, replicate you back to the exact print on your finger, on your thumb. Why? Because this is your Muhammadan identity for all of creation. So where we got to tonight was a great sunnah of knowledge that what Sayyidina Uthman al-Qani who in this month of Kawthar is not a coincidence that Allah describes this is the month of Kawthar, the twelfth hijab on the realities of nine is hundred and eight. 108 is Surat Al-Kawthar. On this month of Kawthar Allah grants us the shahadat of Sayyidina Uthman Qali, Jami Al-Qur'an Al-Majeed, Jami Al-Qur'an Al-Majeed. The one whom compiled the Holy Qur'an which is not an easy feat, it's not something that anybody can understand. What permission Allah granted? means then was granted the realities of uloom and knowledges. And then coded all of Holy Qur'an is immense, immense reality. As a result then when we want knowledge and we want these realities Sayyidina Uthman al-Qani represents the qalam. That when you carry the sunnah of the qalam, the madad and the support of uloom and knowledges from Sayyidina Uthman That, Ya Sayyidina Uthman that grant me from knowledges. That's why they say the pen is mightier than the sword. What are you going to do with sword beating up people? But with uloom and knowledges you can illuminate universes with knowledges. And we described many realities of the holy qalam, qaf, lam, meem means what is a qalam in heaven? It's a means in which to convey knowledges, qaf, lam is what? Qul, qul because there's no pen in heaven, qalam al-qudra they describe, it's not the qalam we understand. But the means in which to convey knowledge and what we understood of a qalam, it's a tawassul. By means of that reality I'm going to put this in my pocket. Why? Because this means a big reality. That reality is the conveyance of knowledge that, Ya Rabbi let me to inherit from that reality that that qul only speaks to meem, means the the speech of Allah is not heard by anybody other than Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidina Jibreel doesn't hear Allah nobody hears Allah That's why Sayyidina Musa said, I want to see you. I'm, I'm talking and his heart knowing is not Allah. I want to see you and Allah says, you can't see me, I'll show you Ayatul Akbar. My greatest sign, what do ayat al-Akbar Sayyidina Muhammad means the reality that nobody speaks to Allah So the qalam is, Qul Ya Muhammad of lam and a meem, alif in there is for Izzatullah. But means what? That divinely speech always flows to Sayyidina Muhammad when Prophet wants to open the door of knowledges means the companionship of Sayyidina Uthman must become an attached to that servant. As soon as Sayyidina Uthman comes he brings the flow of character, Al-Qani from Allah's oceans of kawthar. Why the Qani? Why the generous? Because the fountain of kawthar has to open upon the servant in which their soul swims in the ocean 
their soul drinks from the ocean, they are kawthari. Means the greatness of the nation is in the gifts of what Allah has given to the nation. That because you love Sayyidina Muhammad I allow you to accompany all this Divinely wealth. Kari Asa, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq as salam is with you, you're given the knowledge now. You carry the ring, Sayyidina Imam Ali salam is with you. Carry your qalam and Sayyidina Uthman as salam is with you that led me to be a conveyor of knowledge, led me to take from the oceans because all uloom and all knowledges are from Holy Qur'an. Just one letter open and oceans of knowledges flood upon this earth and all reality. Everything exists within Holy Qur'an, nothing outside of that. And that's manzil Qur'an is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad from that heart of Sayyidina Muhammad is coming Sayyidina Uthman to represent the pen because these were the khalifs all around the heart. <coughs> They're all from the light of Prophet all from the oceans of Kawthar. That's why you always show Muhammad Rasulullah with Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, Umar al-Farooq, Imam Uthman and Imam Ali. Why? Because they're from the ocean of that reality, from that light Allah made the light of the holy khalifas. And that the love of Prophet brings these four supports into your life. So that the qalam and the way of knowledge being conveyed to the student, lights of holy Qur'an being conveyed to the student. And then what Allah describes qalam what we said last night, noon wal qalam. So means Allah now giving you a secret and testifying to the reality of Sayyidina Usman noon wal qalam, why? Because you want the noon from Qur'an, Qur'an, right? They think they read Qur'an but they read Furqan, right and wrong, right and wrong. So they pick up, they think they're reading Qur'an, say, no, awliya come and teach you, no, Qur'an is actually reading you. Looks to your eyes, you're the iPhone. The Qur'an look into your eyes and says, no way, only for you Furqan. Right? They read and say, I don't know what you're talking about Shaykh. That it's not my problem, the Qur'an doesn't uh, see something in you that it wants. Encryption, blockchain, what, what do they call that? Biotechnology, uh, eye, eye recognition? Biometrics. Biometric. First biometric is what? Qur'an. Allah described it's not going to open unless it sees the Arabic messenger. Right? The Qur'an look into your eyes and says, see Muhabbat al-Nabi You get Furqan, that's why they speak very hard. Those are Furqanis, <laughs> everything right, wrong, everything right, wrong. But when the Qur'an look into your eyes and sees ishq of Prophet and you don't know anything, you're not a big alim, nothing. It just looks into the beauty of your eyes and sees Muhabbat al-Nabi and what Allah's Prophet, ittaqullah wa alimakum Allah. That's all Allah needed. He said, I see a taqwa and a love in your eyes. You don't have to have graduated from a big school and talk intellectual words. The Qur'an looks simply into your eyes and Allah's words come, ittaqullah. Allah verifies this servant has taqwa. What's Allah's command then? Alimukum. The Qur'an will begin to flow into your eyes and into your heart. So who were you taught by? So I was taught by Allah. This is what the Qur'an teaches, it's so in my eyes, it's sincerity, who can say no? And its knowledges began to flow. Who can explain it? Nobody can. Who can limit it? Nobody can. This is the beauty of our deen. But the believer should have these sunnahs. So if you're really Ahl sunnah where's your Asa? Where's Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq with you? That's last days they're teaching, arm yourself, 
a big battle is about to begin. And it's not with because <laughs> this Asaf will let it go, a dragon enough to eat this entire planet will come. That's all the believer needs. And if you make du'a and the support of Imam Ali salam come, can you imagine the four companions are coming to support you? This is the all, all that we ask, right? <coughs> because this is our shaqeen and Muhammadiyoon. Why we, how could we let the Muhammadiyoon to be obliterated? What will we say to Prophet So then they must have these four, they carry them with their immense light, noon wal qalam. That Allah then describes the immensity of that qalam, that if this ishq and love of Sayyidina Uthman is with you, you begin to have dreams of pens and people don't know why they had a dream of a pen. And then they email, I had a dream of a pen, what does that mean? What does it mean? Allah sent you a madad and support of Sayyidina Uthman and that you would inherit knowledges, right? And that the mere mentioning of his name has an ishq and love dear in your heart. So it means that no big academy is needed, no diffi difficult schools are needed, just good character, good character, good manners, good love, good heart. The Qur'an looks into your eyes and says, Allah finds validation in you. An immediate flow of knowledge is noon wal qalam. That what we're looking for is that noon. A noon from insan. Remember the talks now, because it's like a tasbih. Everyone has to inherit this noon, otherwise, they're not kamil. When Shaykh, my shaykh is kamil, then he has to have two noons, dhul noon. What was Sayyidina Osman called? Zul noon. Why? Because Prophet wanted to symbolize, I give you one daughter of my family. When she passed, I said, I give you another daughter. So that physically you would never doubt this reality. This is a, a Sahabi called Zunun, that his perfection immense, his sincerity immense. The two noons and realities lit within him that he has nur and nar. His shams and qamar are lit. Right? Because some people may have nur, they only reflect light. But they need a nod, they need a fire, they need a sun within their heart that illuminate eternally. If that sun is on, their face is shining like the moon and they become zunun. And that was all the talks on insana kamil and the realities of insan. Every insan has two noons they have to light. And they have a sirr and a secret in the middle. Our life was to complete that mission that follow the moon until it takes you to the sun. Means follow the qamar and the qamariyoon of this nation. The Muhammadan guides whom are qamarun, they shine their light. And if you follow them, follow them, follow them, they will take you to the source of why they're shining, which is the reality. Sayyidina Muhammad Shams al-Arifeen, right? When they love, they love, they love what happens as they're approaching Prophet He's shining on them because He is the eternal Son of all creation, more powerful than this Sun. How many times Allah makes reference to stars in Qur'an? Shams, Najm. And then they found that, you know, there's a Sun in the center of the entire created universe, billions of, of bigger, <laughs> billion size bigger, billions of sizes bigger than our sun. Our sun and the earth is like a dot, billions of sizes bigger, right? And what Allah describes is that sun, a tariq. Why? Because the light of that sun pierces everything in this universe, all created universes. Because Prophet's light is the source of that reality, that his light nourishes everything. He's the Wi-Fi for all entire creations, 
Powered by who? La ilaha illallah. So it means immense. How to carry that love? Allah may so simple, carry a pen. So that we are symbols of students of the way. And the Ya Rabbi make me to be a, a reality of this qalam. That my companionship with Sayyidina Usman salam, that he fill my heart with love and good character. And that's why they all come back and keep saying, good character, it's not academia, it's not courses that you take, it's not the, the shariahs that you learn, actually those may make you angrier and meaner. But just have good character, good love, good manners and Allah begin to open into the heart. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.